Well, I, I, you know, I have a real problem with um, guns. And, uh, but um, through my job, I, you know, basically I had to keep quiet about that. You know, as I get, you know, again, you talk about it, it's, it's acting on it. Mm -hmm. you know. Picking your battles. Uh, but, you know, it is city against country. I mean, there is no reason to, I mean, that nowadays, I guess people feel that they could prevent something like that because they would check for guns. But maybe, I don't think they can. Yeah. Uh, but that's maybe their feeling about it. And so there isn't a push to, to really, um, where some kind of crazed person can come in and just, just do that kind of thing. So I don't know. I mean, it's... What about you, Tom? Well, you see, I don't blame the gun. I blame the person that has the gun. And again, this country, if you really stop and think about it, it was founded by the good. We differ definitely on that too. Well, I think that there is a, a real history of violence in this country that we don't With the acknowledge. Guns, sure, from starting from the east and came all the way west. Yeah. I, you know, part of the. But if you notice, where are, are all your manufacturers? In the, in the east coast. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But, you know, one of the things I feel about guns is not just the gun, but the power that it, it gives people. Oh, I have a gun, now I can do this. If they didn't have the gun, maybe they wouldn't be thinking quite that way. That's, that you know, might be and very Tom true. has a little bit, you know, he grew up more um, in a different tradition about, you know, guns. And he's been to war, so I, and I, um, and the guys, most of the guys that I, um, represented, um, they're definitely not for gun control, and you know they they use them, and so they you know I, I defer to that because there must be some some something right about that. But uh, my well, opinion, I think my you're, opinion. you're yeah, I think you're right on well, it. Well, sure, I, I would be I mean, both of you control, control, you control if you can control them. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the average person. That's has guns right now. They say you're gonna to have to turn in all your guns, but two, they're gonna not turn in one. See, that's the thing. And so, how how are they going to win? Yeah, to it's control? the public policy implementation of right. it. Exactly. Is if you're gonna to have to put like a five thousand dollar fine for every gun you have that you haven't turned in. Mm -hmm. But they're going to have to, and then enforce it. Mm -hmm. Get warrants, go pick through it, every house in the country, in the basement, the attics, and all. But if you're going to have gun control, that's the only way you're going to get it in this country. Because mm -hmm. you're taking down, like uh, the friend of yours that went to prison for shooting his wife, and he still carried a gun after he got out. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, definitely, uh, it's the people who pull the trigger, but the access to it, you know, yeah, having waiting you, periods or what guns are but, actually available. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You see, if you don't have good control, mm -hmm. you don't have anything. And now this man went to jail for murdering his wife in the street, did his time, came out, still carried a gun. It's not against his parole. Uh, you notice what you just said? <laughs> Against his parole. Isn't it? Isn't sure it? it is. But they never. Yeah, check. Well, how are you going to, mm -hmm. you know, check? Are you going to run by and see him every hour, on the hour, mm -hmm. seven days a week? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. See, that's you have to see that control. If you can get that control, you might make this kind of safe. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, this ballot mess and say, okay, we're going to have gun control. What do you, what and how? You know when, where we were, uh, was it Vienna? Remember when we were down there at that train station? Oh, yeah. yeah. Man, <laughs> this cat, <laughs> he had a shopping cart. It was full of ammunition and two guns. 
And I just told him to just, yeah, just move right. back. <laughs> Let him have his room, you know. Mm -hmm. But you see what they do there, you have to check every gun out. And you get so much ammunition. Mm -hmm. And when you get through, you bring that gun back. Let's mm -hmm. see, you do it, try it here. Yeah, you know, Austria's a lot smaller and a lot closed, more closed in terms of letting people in. Yeah, I think you are definitely right about the whole implementation of it. Mm -hmm. But again, you know, I can't help but decide to tell you in some way the gun was made to kill. It's a killing machine. Well, you know, there's nothing else that it does. That's true. But then they tell you, that's for protection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could see if he turns his in, but the other man still got yeah. his. I, I think it's the whole idea that as long as some people have them, mm -hmm. the guy is going to have They're going to try it. Yeah. Somebody's going to try and keep one. It's a different method. Because mm -hmm. I, would, I would be willing to turn mine in. So you have guns? Mm -hmm. But she, she'll tell you. I don't advertise it. I don't mm -hmm. take them. I don't carry them around with you, do mm -hmm. No. She, in fact, I don't I don't even know where they are. Really. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. 